Uh, we see you're getting prepared for another title shot uh, coming up on the 15th of September, uh, which is going to be a, an exciting weekend of boxing. Uh, you against Hernandez, Chavez against uh, Martinez, and Canelo against uh, Lopez. So yes. it's going to be a great night. Yes. And I'm, ha I'm happy to be on, on the show again, man. Uh, thanks for having me, and thanks for uh, having me here just to talk about my fight. Um, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm getting ready. I'm looking forward to a great fight, a great night. Um, I know there's other fighters going on. There's other fights going on, but um, hopefully everyone tunes into my fight. Of course, September of course. September 15th. You got it. We'll definitely be watching you, and as always, we'll be supporting you. So now, um, it's been a... Quite some time since we last spoke. Uh, the last time you were actually in a fight, which many thought you won against Steve Cunningham for the IBF cruiserweight title, and now you're going back into a fight for the IBF cruiserweight title against Juan Pablo Hernandez. Yes, um, it's unfortunately um, we weren't able to finish that. Uh, well, f finish off the fight with on um, Cunningham. Um, Cunningham uh, took the belt and he ran with it. That's all. That's all I can say about that one. Like I mean, he got away with the thumb in the eye and uh, he took the belt and he ran with it. Uh, and and then he went off. And he got it um, when I'm the man. When I was the mandatory to fight, he got an exception to fight Johan Hernandez. Yo Hernandez um, beat him the first time. They stopped the fight in the sixth round, and he got granted another rematch to fight Hernandez, where they did not have to fight me and be the number one contender. And I uh, lost to Hernandez again in a 12 round decision. So now I have to fight against Hernandez. So um, I am the mandatory number one contender. I'm ready to go in, go in and do battle. And uh, Hernandez is that guy. He sure is. He's he's the champion. He's a big guy though. He's he's a lot taller than you, isn't he? They're all taller than me. I, I like a I man. From the day I was an amateur fighting at light heavyweight, they were all taller than me. And I was always surprised when I, I walk into the ring and someone's the same size as me, same height at least. But um, it doesn't matter to me. I'm used to fighting tall guys. Um, Cunningham was a, bit, a tall guy. He was six foot four, and Addis is six foot four. I'm looking ready, getting ready for a good fight, no matter what. Um, I'm always going to be punching up, and I'm going to be make, uh, dropping them smaller. Make, make, make him come down to my side. Work with the body, go up to the head. You're both subpoles. Yes, yes. Um, you know what? I'm used to fighting southpaws. I'm used to fighting orthodox fighters. But I think um, because I know exactly where the punches are coming from, um, I'll be able to fight with uh, Hernandez and uh, work the angles as best as I can. We're, we're in the gym 24-7 working on uh, preparing for Hernandez, working on the South Boston. So uh, we'll definitely be ready for that. I see you're working hard. Uh, so uh, we can expect a, a good, good fight. Uh, but uh, is it going to go the distance or, or do you plan on ending this early? You know what? Uh, <laughs> what can I say about that? Uh, I look forward to a good fight. I'm always prepared to go 12, 12 rounds, 12 hard rounds. But it's a bonus when it comes to when the fight ends early. No matter what round it is, if the first round, second round, third round, in or in the 12th round, it's a bonus. But um, I, I train, I train hard, and I, uh, I work hard. And I look forward to putting in a 12 round fight if I have to go 12 rounds. And of course, you've traveled too many places. Uh, Europe, in Canada, you've done a couple fights here and there, in the U.S. So going to Germany is no big issue, is it? No, it never it never has. I'm I'm used to um, being on the road uh, fighting. Uh, I'm, I, unfortunately, I don't get a chance to fight in uh, Canada much. I wish if I I could have that chance, but. Um, as a cruiserweight, I'm on, on the road from, from my amateur days to now. I'm always on the road fighting, and uh, you know what? Um, I, get, I, get, I get the results that I need from outside, whether, whether or not whoever I'm fighting. That's good, that's good. So there's no, no issues with the training, no issues with the traveling. Um, like you said, you fought taller guys in the past, so the height won't affect you. So we see you're 
Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, the training camp has been going really well. Um, my co my cousin and coach Chris Amos, we've been working on a lot of stuff uh, in the gym, a lot of technique, technical work inside the gym, just to make sure that we're ready for uh, Pablo Hernandez and. Um, we will be ready on the night. People I like to ask me, are you ready today? Are you nervous? Are you what? Are you this? Are you that? But on the night of the fight, we will be ready. And um, that's the only time that we need to be ready for the fight is to make sure that we're 100% uh, prepared. We're getting everything ready in the gym, technically, um, endurance-wise, um, strength-wise. So we're getting everything together. We're getting, uh, you know, we're not crossing, the, we're crossing our eyes and down here our T's. And that's what it's all about, is to make sure that we're ready for that night. And uh, September 15th will be that night that we step in the ring into um, the fight with uh, Pablo Hernandez. You got a message for uh, Hernandez? <laughs> um, the, a message for Hernandez? Uh, you know what? Hernandez, I don't see him as a bad guy. The only, like I mean, I look at every fight as a chess match, and um, as a chess. Sorry, I look at every match as a chess match, and I'm going. He's going in there with his skills, and I'm going there with my skills. And the best, and the best man at the end of the night will win the fight. Um, the only thing I could say to Hernandez: keep your hands up and watch out. I, I I got power in both hands, and I'm ready to display it at any time. And last of all, what would you like to say to all your fans who continue to support you? Uh, to all my fans that always support me, um, time after time after time, um, you know you know me, I go into the ring, I give 100%, and that's what I'm going to do on September 15th, is go into the ring, all I need is support. Um, I carry all, all, all your weight on my shoulders, and all I need is support, um, and you've always been there, and I'm, I'm happy for that, and I want you to be there with me. September 15th. Trey Rush, we wish you all the best. Good luck. And we hope you bring that title back to Canada. Thank you, IBF champion. 2012, September 15th. Be, uh, stay tuned. You got it.